back with Coach Lewis Preston for the next game primary leading up to tomorrow's game at Ohio State. Uh, the second ranked Buckeyes, 17-0 on the year, 4-0 in the conference, but they've had four close games, three close games out of the out of four in the conference. So talk a little bit about them overall and then we'll get into some personnel. Well, first of all, I think uh, when you get to the conference season, uh, every game's going to be close or you know, it's going to come down to a last possession. Uh, even going back and looking at last night, watching Purdue and Minnesota. I think Ohio State with the three singles that they have with David Lighty, uh, with uh, Dima and Lauderdale, you know, those guys have been through the battles and then, you know, you have Buford and right now who could easily be counted as the national player of the year candidate right now in Solinger. Uh, you have great experience uh, with great youth, but you've got four of those five guys that do it well when they score. Speaking of Solinger, he's leading the team scoring 17 uh, and a half points. Averaging a double double, what does he do well down the block? Uh, I think what he does best is he does a great job of using his body to get great post position. So whether you push him out one or two steps outside of the paint, or he gets one or two feet in the paint, uh, he does a great job of using his body. I think the second most important thing is he can use either hand, especially when he gets ten feet or closer to the basket. So we've got to you know do some different things that uh, disrupt him a little bit. Uh, you know, going back and looking at their last game, I, I thought uh, him having six turnovers was uh, something that stuck out to me. You know, it was a variety of things. It was from double teams uh, to get him and forcing him out in the paint a little bit. And, uh, you know, I thought another great thing that Michigan did in that game was threw some different guys at him throughout the course of the game. Moving to David Lighty, obviously a guy that's been around, been around the block a number of times, averaging 13 a game. and. Talk about his game and what he brings to the table. I think David Lighty might be the uh, overall key to their team uh, because not only can he handle the ball, he can also play the three spot. He can also play four, uh, depending on what they do personnel-wise, whether they take Lauderdale out and bring Kraft in. So I think he might be the ultimate key to them. Uh, he does a little bit of everything, but everything that he does, he does well. Uh, he's made big shots for him. He's made big defensive plays for him. Uh, and, you know, he's been through the war, so he's seen a little bit of everything. So we got to, you know, find different ways to neutralize him as well. He posts up a little bit as well. How much of a challenge is that to, to guard him when he's able to play so many different spots on the floor? You know, I think it poses a challenge, but I think it's the reason why they're the number two team in the country, uh, you know, playing for the opportunity to be number one on Saturdays just because they have so much versatility, not only with lighting, but you got versatility uh, with Buford as well. Uh, you know, depending if they bring craft in, you can move some different guys around, and then you got a great spot up shooter and dealer. So, you know, they, they bring a lot of different weapons to the table. Talk about Aaron Kraft a little bit, freshman guard, and, and the types of things he's been able to do here recently. I think what he does is he kind of calms them down a little bit. He kind of throws some other guys back to their natural position. Uh, for a freshman, I really haven't seen him rattle. You know, I think his poise is one of the most important things. Uh, that he brings to the table. He brings a great amount of toughness uh, with how he handle, you know, guards the ball. But I think even more importantly, he doesn't make a lot of mistakes with the basketball, and he gets the ball to the right people at the right time uh, to play to their strengths and get them good shots. D. Blair is a guy that if he's open, usually the ball is going to go in. 50% three-point shooter for the season. How much do you need to stress to, to stay on him at all times? Well, you know, I, I think we've done a very good job of that, you know, stressing that over the last uh, couple practices here. But I think even more importantly, he's not much different than Ryan Smith from Purdue. Uh, he's a great spot-up shooter. Plays off of the penetration not only by Lighty but by Buford, but also by Kraft. So, we got to do a great job of understanding and knowing our personnel and then making sure we know where he's at and not let him get any type of easy looks. Rebounding has been a big thing for you guys. Obviously, two good games on, on the glass. They're plus seven on the year. What do you need to do against them to continue the trend? <laughs> we only allow them one shot. And, uh, you know, the great thing about them, and, you know, we talk about all the versatility, they have great size. So, you know, you have Whitey who's averaging, you know, four rebounds a game. You've got Buford averaging, uh, you know, three and a half, almost four rebounds. You've got Sullinger averaging ten rebounds. You know, you got Deshaun Thomas who comes off the bench and can rebound the ball as well, as well as Lauderdale. So we've got to take and keep them off the glass, allow them one shot, and then, you know, with their momentum taking them to the basket, maybe we can get out of transition and get some easy uh, transition scores early. What has pleased you most uh, from the past two wins? Michigan State. Uh, the fact that our guys have embraced the physicality of the game. Uh, I 
think I think that's something that we stressed after we lost to Purdue uh, going into the Michigan State game. I think our guys did a great job of that. And I think they did an even better job against Illinois. Uh, we got to continue along those lines. And I think the second thing is our guys playing with a great amount of confidence. Tomorrow's game, what? Give me a couple keys to the game. Uh, you know, usually I always say transition defense and rebounding. Actually, we're going to, I think it's three keys. We've got to contain the ball because they got, you know, not only Lighty and Buford, uh, Kraft, uh, Deshaun Thomas can take you off the dribble. we got to contain the ball. Uh, then we got to get back in transition defense, and then we got to only allow them one shot. we got to rebound the ball. All right, Coach. Best of luck tomorrow night against the Buckeyes. Appreciate it. Thank you.